Hello everybody and welcome back to the Jet Set Radio Future playthrough. This is part 10 and we'll be continuing in the underground sewage facility. Alright, so it looks like we have more uh, jumping and failing with the air jump things. Yeah, but like I said, when I was recording this, I was a little bit rusty and, uh, haven't played for a while. So, yeah. If I fail, that's why. I'm not sure what graffiti soul that was, but I have a feeling it was probably a low number of tricks. Maybe. And here I was going for like, uh, I believe there's another tricks one. If that first one was tricks, I don't know. I didn't pause and I didn't remember what the uh, thing was. Uh, but it probably was a little number of tricks and I think there was a big number of tricks and I was going to go for that, but <clears throat> I usually go for that like a, another part of the playthrough, so I was just went back and was like, just keep going for it. Yeah, I'm really, really bad at this. The whole entire reason why I do not like this part of the uh, Just That Radio Future game is because there's like so much you gotta do. You gotta keep jumping all over those things. I mean, it does get a little better and it is kinda easy to get through it all, but I don't know. It's just like my least favorite course in the game is the underground sewage facility. Alright, and, uh, saving the game, like I said, the, uh, whole entire purpose of this part of the sewer is all the purple dots on the map. You gotta cover those little transmitter things up with spray paint, which apparently, uh, helps open a door somehow by spraying it with a spray can. That's the world of video games for you, I guess. Alright, and this room is my most hated room, but I figured out a little, like, I'll probably figure it out in about two minutes or so, that it's much easier to get over there than do a long distance jump. I remember when I was a little playing this game, I did like a long distance jump from far ways away, and I thought I could do it again, but I didn't, because I'm bad at this room. So over here, I don't know what the heck I was thinking. But yeah, I do boost again and then I end up right in the friggin' water. And of course that guy's laughing like zero because I failed. Of course he doesn't have a uh, Chilean accent. If you guys don't know who I'm talking about, I'm talking about my good friend Zero, Dark Reinhardt. Of course, he doesn't upload videos anymore, he pretty much quit his YouTube, but his old videos, you could always uh, go there and check them out. Have a link on the video. But yeah, this is the easier way, just keep like uh, tippy towing, I guess, to a, uh, a, like, a really good part with like a lot of spray cans. And it's pretty much a boost away and he also has some running room so just back up a little bit try not to go into water turn around and boost off and if you're lucky you'll stick the wind and just land in the water oh shut the fuck up And it looks like we have an alligator. It's kind of weird to have an alligator in an underground sewer. Of course, this is a pretty big freaking sewer. I really don't know what kind of uh, sewer has these type of things to where you could go around on skates. 
uh, yeah, it just looks like a gigantic freaking tower. I don't know what kind of uh, sewage facility facility has a. Uh... Oh, I think I went the wrong way. Whoops. Didn't edit that out, but oh well. But yeah, it's like a. It has like so many levels for one sewer. Why the heck does a sewer have so many freaking levels? I don't know if I got a graffiti soul back in that part, but uh, I think I took the wrong way. But yeah, there are like two pretty much twin. Uh twin spots in this one layer which is pretty much where we are it's like two doors that pretty much lead to like a similar passageway one of them just goes like way up and the other one's just like flat so I took the wrong way by accident but in the end we got where we needed to go that's what's important I guess All right, and we look, looks like we're going to the next level. Level. All right. Oh god, this part. And there's a certain way you gotta do this graffiti soul. Pretty much, uh, get on the rail for starters. I don't know what the heck I was doing here. I think I was having controller problems, maybe. But no. Uh, yeah, that's kind of what you need to do, but I kind of short jumped it, so let's try that again. And yeah, alright, keep going, jump, yeah, you're supposed to jump after riding the wall. Alright, let's see if third time's the charm once again. And we got it. Do we stick the landing? Yes, we do. It takes a few tries, but like I said, in the end, at least you got to where you're going. All right, and it looks like we have some uh, pipes to write on. That's a lot of freaking pipes. And they just, I love how the uh, pipes just like end right there. Like, they don't go into a wall or anything, it's like they're broken. They, like, connect to the wall, and then it's just like they're open. It's a lot of layers for a friggin' sewage place. And I don't know why I keep going to the map. This map just shows you how much fucked up this place is. How many layers there are for a sewage facility. And I just realized that we're probably skating on pee and poo. So yeah, every time we're in the water, it's pretty much, you know, stanky a little bit. So that can't be too healthy for you. And wow, that was a fail. Trying to make sure I did not go off the edge there. And pretty much it's just more pipes on holes that pretty much just end. And, wow, I was missing that one. Oh uh, yeah, I remember this part. I think I missed quite a few times. Yeah, I don't know what the heck happened. You're supposed to, like, just sta stick on. Usually you always get to stick on there. It just starts an automatic grind like that. But I missed it twice because I just went right through it. And saving again. Of course, you don't want to die. You see, my HP is getting kind of low. If you die, pretty much the last part you saved, that's where you start off again. doesn't matter if you did two more worlds since you last saved. You will lose those two worlds if you die. It'll just go to the last save point. That's how fucked up this game is. I mean, the game is good, but it's just the save system, and if you die, that's pretty much screwed up right there. And I don't know what the heck I was doing here. 
you gotta ride these pipes up and it goes into like a little box. Ooh, looks like we're gonna get some HP and standing there. I think I was trying to uh, reverse and the controller was not reversing for some reason. Yeah, my controller kind of like spazzes out sometimes. I was pretty much just looking for boxes right here at the moment. Like, not like little boxes, I'm talking about the uh, ones you write up and then you just backflip into a box. Oh, and watch this part. One can, we get on top of there, and then we run out. That went well. So pretty much I uh, went to go get some more cans, and uh, I didn't edit it out because of one reason. And you'll see why very soon. I know where there's a spot there there's a lot of freaking cans. Gotta go through here. There's another twisty thing, I think. Yep, there it is. Just jump through it. And there's like a ton of cans right here. There's like about almost 30. But the reason why I put this part in was because, as you see, our points are kind of leveling up a little bit. And as soon as I jump, boom, the graffiti soul appears. So I was like, oh man, I can't edit that out. I failed big time by missing that one thing. And then it just really sucked. I was hoping to edit it all out, but uh, you had to uh, see that I did get the graffiti soul. I can't just cut that out because it's kind of really important. And I kind of took the wrong one. This is where we got the HP. So the next one is like right there. And not missing. Kind of wish that was the... Uh... Oh god. Thank God that was that hole was there, or else we'd have to uh, backtrack a lot. No, well, I would have. You guys would have just, you know, seen it. Edit. And the music sounded like someone was dying. They were like screaming bloody murder. Alright, so uh, we got about two minutes left in this video. Actually, less than one minute. Ah, God, I can't tell time, can I? We got about a minute and 25 seconds. 20 seconds. Wow, we fail in the video game and then we fail in the commentary. That's great. Alright, so here I was going for the uh, big points, which pretty much if you press Y, I believe it is. It's a little bit slower, you have to go a little bit slower with tapping it, but it gives you, like, double the points. Alright, and it looks like we're gonna go for the 45 tricks next. Just, uh, like the dragon tail on 99th Street, well actually the dragon head, just pull back on the control stick and you will, like, not move at all. You won't get points either. But you will get all the tricks that you need. And there it is. And screwing with the camera again. I gotta stop doing that. Alright, but uh... Anyway, trying to get off this pole safely. This is the end of this part of the playthrough. Thank you for tuning in for part 10. Tune us in for part tune in for part 11 where we'll be doing more of the sewage facility. See you guys later.